Update. My dad abandoned me when I was two and now wants to meet me. I ended up living in a six foster homes and faced a lot of abuse after my mom odd. Does it make me a horrible person to meet him just to tell him how I grew up? I spend three days in that apartment. Eating toast and just waiting for her to wake up, that right there almost brought me to tears. My dad abandoned me and it was very cathartic to hear him apologize. It didn't heal the wounds but it helped. I just recently have gone through this myself. My biological father decided to contact me. Via Facebook. After giving up his rights when I was 7. I never heard or saw him again until now. I'm 22. Married. And have a 2 year old. He abandoned my brother and I. It basically comes down to this. Say your dad dies. Are you going to regret never sending him your letter? That's why I sent my letter in response to his. Because hell yeah I would regret it if I never got the chance to ask why he didn't bother to stay. You're the one who lives with this. Not Reddit. The best part of this very well written letter is that it isn't venomous. It's simply true. A few years ago. I a strange father tried to get back into my life. After I decided not to return his calls. He showed up at one of my football games. I was polite and told him that I didn't call him back because I realized I simply didn't need or want him in my life. He then told me if I were a real man I would have at least called him to tell him that. To which I responded everything I needed to know about being a man. I learned from watching you and doing the opposite. A real man doesn't hospitalize his wife. Beat his kids. Or fall 5 plus years behind on child support. I haven't heard from him since and I don't regret it at all. On one hand I want to say send him this. He bailed when you needed him most so he's automatically disqualified from calling himself your father. However. It might be worth hearing him out. Just once. I'm not saying give him a chance. He blew that already. But it might be worth listening to his story. You'll find out why he let you down so badly. I'm sure you'll discover he will have numerous excuses or reasons as to why he couldn't be a father. Perhaps they may even have some validity. But I doubt it. This is the important part. You may discover you have half siblings. And no matter what. They didn't do anything to you and perhaps deserve a chance that your father did not. Men who leave their kids behind tend to leave more than one. This I've seen happen all too often. So. As painful and awkward as it might be. There might be a silver lining and you might have someone you may feel happy and proud to call family. You just don't know it yet. Whatever you decide to do is your choice and your choice alone. Painful as it all is. It might be worth hearing it out just once to get answers and closure if you need it. Trust me on this. You do not want to spend the rest of your life asking why. This letter makes me want to become a foster family. The house we're in right now is too small for more kids but after I'm done building our new one, just finished the roof last week, I think we'll start the process. My wife and I have been considering it for a while but I think this is the tipping point. Send him that. He needs to know that he failed. You did a great job writing this. Rats on making it. I'm sure it wasn't easy. My only comment about the letter is. What are you trying to accomplish with this? Like. What's your end goal? I really like the letter. I think it hits hard without being really whiny. However. What are you looking to accomplish with this? It's not to make you reconsider sending it. But I just think you might want to take a moment to align your expectations with reality. You don't owe anything to that man. You don't owe him an explanation. You don't owe him any insight on your life. How you turned out. Nor how you're a million times the father he ever was. Or in the driver's seat. Oh. You also got your dad in the arsehole department store? Yeah. I got a similar model. I'd advise you not to send it. I know. Everybody else here thinks it's a good idea. But from experience I can tell you it's not. Some anonymous forum like this one always goes for revenge. Which is kinda what you are dishing out here. And there is nothing wrong with that. But I can promise you that if you are anything like me. You will be prone to mood swings. Right? The kind that hurt other people. Right? Well they are gonna get worse when you deal with your father again like this. 
because abandonment is one of the reasons for those mood swings. Now I am all for confronting one's own issues. But with your father it's emotionally unsolvable. When you enter this relationship with him, and yes. Even telling him to off is a kind of relationship. Then you will once again start basing parts of your life on emotions and the rejection by your father. And again. If you are anything like me. This tends to you up emotionally. So. It were me. I'd ignore that. Might not be the reaction that you strive for. But it's better in the long run for yourself. You should send him that. He really needs to hear it. But don't take it to heart if he doesn't care or reacts badly to it. This is a man who took two decades to even contact his own son. Therefore. Don't get your hopes high. Very minor detail. But I would have used his last name when referring to him. Such as dear. MR. Names might seem trivial. But they hold a lot of significance. The point of the letter is to be curt and tell him you don't want to be his son. The 4. By using MR. You are treating the receiver of the letter as some stranger distant acquaintance rather than someone you are close with. Also. I hope you live an enjoyable life from now on. You truly deserve it.